All right, hey guys, Apple Fanatic here. I'm making a video today on how to restore your, uh, your, your computer, your MacBook, MacBook Pro, or iMac, or Mac Pro, along with MacBook Air, any computer running on an Intel dual processor of some sort, um, the uh, external device. So I have my iPod, my iPod Nano here, um, iPod Nano 6th generation, 16 gigabyte. Um, make sure it's running. Um, latest firmware in your device. It doesn't really matter because you're going to be restoring it. But this is going to be good for people that have either no super drive or a broken super drive and are unable to restore but need to restore for any number of reasons. Um, you're going to need a program. Yeah, close. Um, you're going to need, it's close. <laughs> you're going to need a program called Carbon Copy Cloner. You're going to need your OSX Restore DMG. And you're going to obviously need an external drive. So once you've done that, it's very simple. Make, um, you're going to want to go to, actually, let me close this so I can show you from the very beginning. Go to your applications and carbon, cl clober, clone, cl carbon cloner, co copy cloner. And you're going to want to go to select a source, restore from a disk image. Wherever you have it saved, click that. So you're going to probably, it's going to be probably called Mac OS X install DVD dot IMG, DMG. Click image, all right? And then at this point, you're going to want to select the disk image. So I want to select my untitled one. All right. So at this point, we're going to hit. At this point, we're going to hit. All right. Oh, it didn't do anything. Refer from disk image. Try it one more time. Um. Um, image. What the hell? Why won't it select it? Right here. All right, there we go. So you want to have it say Mac OS X install DVD. Hit OK and hit clone. All right. Now, as you can see, it is now taking the Mac OS X install DVD DMG and it is copying it over to the untitled one. So I will come back when it's done copying it over completely and I will show you guys the next step. All right, hey guys, so after your uh, carbon copy cloner has completed, you're gonna wanna go down to, um, and obviously it's completed and successful, you're gonna wanna go down to computer, I mean system preferences, and you're gonna click startup disk. If we autofocus, okay. startup disk, and you're gonna be greeted with Mac 10 OS X 10.6.3, 6.3, it will say whatever version you have on. So if you have 10.6, it will just say that. Or if you have 10.6.1, it will say 10.6.1. You understand? Good. Okay, so you're going to want to hit restart. And at this point, make sure you have everything backed up on an external hard drive um, that you um, don't want to lose if you have the opportunity to back up. If you don't, then I'm sorry, but you're going to have to lose all your data. All right, so you're going to want to hit restart. Restart. And you're going to wait for it to reboot. So I'll come back when it's in reboot. All right, hey, guys. So um, I, you are now going to be at this screen. We're going to go back. One more. And you're going to be at this screen, Mac OS X. Um, I've already gone ahead and I've um, taken all of the partitions off of the hard drive, so it's a blank hard drive, and it is running from my external hard drive. And just going to want to hit continue, agree, select, the front, select where you want to uh, install it. So I'm going to select this one. Um, as you can see, it's got 249 free or 204. Um, so that's got nothing on it. If you have OS X on it, you're simple. You're going to want to go to utilities, disk utility, and you're going to want to go to, if it's a load, give it a second, select this and over to erase and just hit erase everything. But I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it. All right, so I'm going to select install, and it's going to install. All right, guys, so um, I'll come back when it's done, saying 36 minutes. It should be relatively fast because it is running from this, and it has no hard drive to run from. Um, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, hey, guys, so as you can see, it is now rebooting. Um, I forgot to put the camera on for the... Um, you didn't miss anything, actually. I just forgot to put the camera on 
Um, but it basically just gave you a message, but you'll know the message if you had success. It says your uh, Mac OS was successfully installed on your computer. And all thanks to my little buddy. My Apple, Apple Nano 6 generation. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, PM me or comment me. I will wait for the boot up just to show you guys that we have had success. All right, so we should get the um, welcome junk that comes with the app, the welcome thing. There you guys go. Just keep it on for you guys. Let's turn it up a little bit. And guys, that is pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my computer, and I will see you guys later. Peace. All right, hey, guys. So I thought I'd just do a quick little video at the end of this um, to show you guys. In fact, we are running 10.6.3, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so obviously, and untitled. So just hit um, software updates, and you can update all your software. So guys, once again, peace.